hello guys this is daniel and i just want to do a video about jesus christ about why we should accept jesus christ as our lord and savior of our life because he died for you he loves you so much you know like he created you without jesus christ we would not be here today talking you know he gave us life he gave us life after death because after he died on the cross he rose again in three days and fulfilled the scriptures you know he rose again he came back to life and there was witnesses that saw him come back to life you know we have insurance that we will come back to life after we die and we will be with jesus only the ones that believe in jesus so it's really important to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior of your life nothing in this life matters no material anything that you see right now is all going to perish but our faith in Jesus Christ will always, you know, it will keep going, going, going for our eternity. And that's going to not die. That's going to keep living forever and ever and ever. We got to, you know, it's, it's really important to accept Jesus Christ. You know, he he loves us so much that he hasn't even came back yet because he wants everybody to accept him. He He's giving people chances, you know. Like we have chances for evangelists to just go out there to preach the good news, the gospel. We have people, missionaries to go out different countries to pre preach the gospel. We have, you know, we're, we have radio stations. We have churches. You know, we're pro trying to, pro we're proclaiming Jesus Christ. We love people so much. You know, we got to all come together as a church and we got to, man, we got to, if you want to live forever with Jesus Christ, that's the only way. He is the only way. He says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Without Jesus Christ, it's nothing. He says, I am, you're the branch, I am the vine. He who abides in me bears much fruit. Without me, you can't do nothing. You need Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So Jesus Christ, he, he sends so much promises in his word. And the word is the Bible. If you read the Bible, it's like your your life manual book. It teach it teaches you and shows you your sin because we all are sinners. Romans three twenty three, uh, everyone has sin and falls short of the glory of God. So you know you can't buy your way to heaven. You can't earn your way to heaven. No good works could make you in the same, you know, the same thing as Jesus Christ. No good works could make you put you in the same position as Jesus Christ. No good works will. Ex will be acceptance you know it won't it won't accept you to go to heaven like it's not about good works because even though people do good works in our hearts we're still sinners you know lust adultery fornication murderers you know lying you know every single thing that you like in our heart anger you know those things are sins you know those things are spiritual those things are in our heart and without christ you know I mean, you're going to die in your sins because who's going to die for your sins? You know, Jesus Christ, he's the only one that died for all our sins. So it's just important to know that, you know, that we're sinful beings and we need our, our, our we need a personal savior who just to wipe away all those sins. And that's Jesus Christ. You know, the devil is out here. The devil is trying to deceive many people. He's trying to take people with him in hell because he knows his time is short. He's trying to deceive, trying to create wars, rumors of wars, all this stuff that happens right now, earthquakes, you know, like all that stuff is, is like birth pains because the time is near. You got to st stand strong in Jesus Christ. He's the only way. The devil does not want, you know, people to believe in Jesus Christ. You know, that's why unbelievers, you guys are in trouble. You guys need to wake up because the devil has blinded you. you he wants you to go with him where it's eternal fire, flames. It's not gonna. It's it's not good. You know. You want to wish. You want to die, but you can't die. It's just torture, torture, and torment for all eternity. You know. Like you just. That's that's without Jesus Christ. You know. Without Jesus Christ, that's what's gonna happen to you. And you know, says in His Word, all the promises He says is true. He's giving you warning signs. You gotta wake up and and see the truth, which is Jesus Christ. I'm telling you guys. So accepting Jesus Christ is not just a good thing. It's a perfect thing. It's your life. It's 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 what you, what's going to happen after you die. It's going to be a new beginning when you accept Jesus Christ. You're going to have a new. You're going to have new fellowships. You're going to have. It's just going to be a, a amazing. You're going to fellowship with the old prophets that preached the word of God back then. 
You can fellowship with his disciples. You can fellowship with him. You know, it's going to be amazing. Heaven's going to be amazing. It's going to be radiant light. It's going to be brute. It's, it's not going to be sunlight. It's going to be God's light. He's going to, he's going to shine his awesome light on you. He's going to have, it's going to have peace that passes all understanding, love that flourishes that never um, goes away. It's going to have nice rivers out there in heaven. It's going to be peace and love and you can't even, there's not going to be no sin. So every single body you, you can encounter is just going to be really love, like have a love, really loving, loving, loving and like there's, you're going to feel their spirit and you're going to just, it's just going to be like, everything's going to be alive. You know, you're not going to have no anger, no discomfort, no pain. I mean, it's just going to be so beautiful. He prepares a place for us, mansions in heaven. You know, it's going to be clean, like really clean grass that's alive, beautiful smell. It's going to be, man, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be flowing with milk and honey. The, the, the roads are going to be emerald. It's going to be nice and clear. Like every single thing in heaven is beyond our, comp our comprehension on earth. We can't understand what's going to be in heaven because it's so powerful that our minds can't conceive that. It's so glorious, our minds can't conceive that. So peaceful, our minds can't conceive that. So much love, our minds can't conceive that. So accepting Jesus Christ is not, is, is, is not, a, not a, a, it's a perfect thing. Accepting Jesus Christ is going to, Sin is going to make you have eternity in your heart, your soul, your life, your spirit. The grave can't hold you down because Jesus Christ has conquered the grave. Death can't hold you ground, can't hold you down because Jesus Christ has conquered death. The devil can't hold you down because Jesus has conquered the devil. Everything that Jesus conquered is not going to be with you. All that stuff is going to disappear because having faith and accepting Jesus Christ, your whole life is going to change. You're going to be reborn again. You're going to see a new light that you haven't seen before. The darkness will fade away. Just peace will come in your heart. And you could tell others. That's why we must evangelize. Spread the gospel. Jesus Christ is, is who he says he is. He is God. He loves us unconditionally. And even though we make mistakes and sin, he still loves us. But we can't. We got to stop sinning. We got to repent. Ask for forgiveness. Love Jesus. Spread the word. Live as godly men and women. And just share the gospel. I'm telling you guys, accepting Jesus Christ is the ultimate victory. There's nothing in this life that could compare to that. Nothing could compare to what he has given us, which is his love, his life, eternal life, man, resurrection life, glorious life that will never that will never leave you. You eternity will keep going. There's no end to eternity. So you know, just accept Jesus Christ. And I'm telling this from my heart that ever since I accepted Jesus Christ and I've been reborn again, it just changed my life. I'm I'm a walking new person. The old life is dead and new life has begun. And I'm just happy that I accepted Jesus Christ. It just changed my whole perspective of life, my spirit, my heart. And I know where I'm going after I die. And I'm just blessed to be with Jesus forever for all eternity in heaven. So I'm just letting you guys know that accept Jesus Christ and... I love you guys. All right. Jesus loves you. Peace.